just a second. How's it going, guys? I was actually back with another. <coughs> sorry, another video. And in this video, I'm gonna discuss some of some stuff that's been kind of been bothering me lately. Just kind of get off my chest. And just why I don't think I've uploaded the past couple days, have I? No, I think I have. Well, this is just some stuff that's bothering me. So, uh, I think I ought to get this. So basically, I just haven't been feeling the best lately. I've just been feeling really, really tired lately. And like some days I just don't want to, oh, my ears are ringing. Get out of bed or do much or anything. I just feel very, very lowly motivated. No confidence or anything at all. Just sometimes it's been hard to make some of these videos too, to film for like 10, 15 minutes and act all happy. Which usually I'm still happy. I'm not really mad. I just have been feeling really bummed. I just still can't figure out lately. And I've just been the past. I mean, this year hasn't been the greatest one as emotionally. I mean, I've had some ups and downs. Just was like some anxiety or just like something's kind of just been going. Like just just kills me mentally sometimes. And not like literally kills me, but just like I I like think about something be stuck on it for like the day straight. And it's very very hard lately because I just okay here's all I mean it's I've been the reason I've been doing many weightlifting video oh my gosh my ear will not suffer I hate I I've always had to think where my ear rings there now or like hums it's hard to explain I haven't noticed people asking why I don't have to do many weightlifting videos. Because I've been unbelievably, like, weak lately. Like, I just haven't... I haven't had any motivation to really lift weights much. Or I do want to get really tired. Like, I can only... I used to be able, like, at a good time... Average deadlift, like, uh, 200, 180. And if I really want to go high, high, I could do 220. But now I can barely just do, like, 80 pounds. I just don't... I just have felt really lowly motivated. Very low self-confidence and just don't want to do much. Which I just can't really figure out why. I mean, I just haven't. I mean, yeah, I mean, just compared to like last year, I had so much confidence and motivation for so much things. I was just like so. I was like, I could probably lift more last year, this time of year, than I could. Like, my stay right now. And there's lots of. I'm filming a video, don't come down here. Okay. What was I saying? Uh, darn it. And that's just why sometimes I've just been really hard lifting weights. And I just, I mean, last year I just could, like, lift, like, 180, 160 very consistently. Now I can just barely do 80 or 90. So I just have been really, really tired. Then I, the concussion kind of got me out of shape for a while. Then I tried to get back. Then I kind of just go, ugh. Just many, some stuff happened just throughout the year. Nothing big. It just, it's been very, very hard lately to be do videos like I just sometimes just all I feel like I want to do is just play video games and that's it like I don't sometimes I don't even feel like I want to leave my house I'm just always so tired and just lowly motivated I don't and I just uh, I don't know I just haven't been able to keep calm under stressful or or very like high intense situations or like I'm doing like I don't even like do I don't even like doing sports much anymore because I just am so some of it kind of comes down just afraid of getting hit in the head again. Some of it just comes down. I just don't really want to do them for some reason. Like I just don't feel like everyone to really do much. Like I get my sometimes like playing video games. And that's basically it sometimes. And yes, I, I love filming videos and don't feel like I'm mad at you guys or anything. I just I've been so just poorly motivated lately, and it's just been really hard. And I just sometimes just so much stuff like scares me or gets me all like going up or down. I just, it just is like, and I, this doctor said I've had, I've had some things where I've sunk, I messed up some adrenaline stuff, and just, I just can't handle any sort of pressured situations. And I've also kind of wondered, like, I used to be, like, when I was younger, I was, like, extremely confident. Like, I mean, like, I had a point, like, I was really cocky, like, years and years ago. Like, I thought it was, like, the best to everything, everything. Now I'm not like that. But I just, I sometimes just can't find, like, a level of confidence like I need. Like, I know you don't want to be overconfident at all. Otherwise, you're just going to end up getting your butt beat and everything. Losing, you don't want to be underconfident. Otherwise, you're not, you're not going to be able to win. You're just going to be kind of standing there. So, I don't, I just don't really ever know where I am in confidence. It's hard to find things or, like, it just, it's just very hard. Like, I mean, I entered a dodgeball tournament 
uh, back in April, and that was when I was having some like stomach problems, and I just wasn't feeling the best, and I just couldn't. And then I just, I just absolutely choked. I mean, I went from. I had had many people tell me I was the best dodgeball player they'd ever seen to just absolutely get demolished because I just couldn't handle any pressure for some reason. I mean, some of you were there when we did it. I mean, they entered. I just, I mean, it was only, a little, it was a little tournament. And still only like four teams on our team got like third place, but I still, I just, I couldn't, I could just, I was just jittery the whole time. I just don't know why. I usually have always been able to say very, very calm under pressure or situations. And I've always just been really good at dodgeball, and that just kind of messed me up. And then ever since then, I just, I've, I've just been so upset at myself because, I mean, I couldn't handle three teams. I mean, I just sometimes wonder, what if I ever want to get to, like, if I go back to sports and I want to do competitions, like, at a higher stage. And some of the stuff, too, like, I try training for my own time, like I do. Uh, karate, which I've always been good at that, like, kicking and punching and everything. I've been very good at that. And, like, dodgeballs I've been good at. But I just always wonder... How good am I really? Am I just like it's because of the state I'm in, or like, like it's just it's been so up and down. I just always get afraid to try new things. I just get it's just very very wacky right now. I just don't really like doing much competition wise stuff. And I'm sorry this video is just me complaining, but I need to get some stuff in my chest. If you don't want to watch the thing, I totally respect and understand that. But I just want to talk a little bit. Um. Yeah, it's just been very hard to get motivated to do much. Like, I was just so highly motivated and confident last year. It really felt like if you want to get somewhere and do anything, I still believe it. I just hard for me to do show it myself. Like if you want to do something or win something, you, I really believe that anybody in this world can do. Because I think people need to quit being like, "Oh, be realistic now" and stuff. It's like everybody in the world has the same opportunity to do something else. Everybody has a one in like seven point two billion chance or whatever the population is. There is no, like, 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 1 in 10 or 1 in 20,000. Like, everyone has technically the same shot to do something. And, yes, there's always going to be those all-stars who that's their whole life and they like, focus on one thing that are probably going to win some most time. But you can always still get very, very good. If you want to focus on one thing your whole life and that's your main goal, then go ahead and right, do it. Because I truly believe anybody can do anything if you really, really want it enough. But if you don't, you're just going to fail. And you might get pretty far in it, but you're not ever going to win it or come close. Like last year, I really wanted to do good on the football team because I was going back a couple years to try and play football. And I had trained for like eight, ten months in advance, just hardcore, like two hours a day with like catching and playing games at recess and stuff. And at the camp, I did pretty good at the little camp they had. In the flag football game, I, the first, I was first, I was covering the fastest kid on the team, was like a track and field star, and I covered him really close and tight, and I intercepted it. And so I was really happy to go back to football, then I got a concussion, I kind of sent back. So I just, ever since concussion, I don't feel like I have much to look for or train to. Like, I don't really want to, like, I just realized it wasn't really passionate. I mean, I still like, I just like doing things more for fun. I mean, there's some things I'm always going to love a lot more. Like, some sports I just don't, like, love truly, truly. So it's just, I mean, that, I mean, I just, I've just had so much things on off. Let me, is this still filming? Okay, got it. Oh, they said it's been filmed for 31 minutes. I'm like, what the heck? Oh, it's only been like nine minutes. So yeah, that's just why I've been just on and off. I know some of this might not make sense to some of you, but if you don't get to totally understand, I've just been, that just kind of been bugging me. Very lowly motivated every day and just. Very hard to do a lot of stuff or lift heavy weights or anything. I mean, you know, the last three months of school, it was so hard to get out of bed. I mean, I would just, I would get up like, I used to get to school like at 40, half hour, minute, 40 minutes, half hour early, and I was barely squeaking there by 8 o'clock because I just could not get up in the morning. I just was so poorly motivated. And it just was, it, I mean, it was just hard. I think a lot of people also realize when they're getting older, they'll be like with a smaller friends group. Like I had this kind of too, like four years ago. Like my whole life, I've been my for for first probably like thirteen years. My life, I was around like seeing like seven eight friends, and I like won almost everything athletically and stuff. So I thought it was like the king of the world at a point. But then I got on football teams and stuff and karate, and I realized there's competition out there. I mean, I wasn't like horrible karate. I got into really really fast because I had kind of been done like. 
so practicing myself years before, and I've always like really good at punching and kicking. But football, I mean, it was tough getting into that and just other stuff too, and going to schools and just you real. I mean, you got. I mean, eventually I got a lot better with like just because other kids. But you realize the world is a big place, and it takes a lot. It's a very good chance you'll probably. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm very realistic. I mean, I'm not very realistic. But I'm a big optimist. If you really want some bad, there's a very good chance. Most people watching this will never become the one, number one to something in the world or all time ever. Unless that's like you're only... The people who become the best at one thing are people who that's what they dedicate their whole life to. It's, it's not like some little side thing, something to do as a hobby and they're pretty good at. It's like they dedicate their whole lives to doing it. Which is fine if that's what they want to do. But I just don't really like... I don't, I'll probably never become the best number one or anything ever because I just don't like dedicate my whole life to like one thing. Like, I love to help people, and I eventually, I'm trying to, I'm just going to start doing more volunteer work and stuff soon. And, um, no, so, I mean, I'm not going to become, like, the number one volunteer ever. I mean, you don't, some stuff you just don't want to aim anymore. number one. You just want to, people take stuff and focus. Some people just focus on winning more than having fun and stuff. I think it's a lot of people to do athletically, whether it's in sports, video games, being nice to people, or anything. People focus more so not everyone, but this is a good amount of people who just focus just on winning, becoming number one at something. People who are truly going to be good at something aren't going to do it just for the glory, the fame, and all that stuff. And I'll admit, I've had some moments where I do something just so I can get some attention, or or just become, or just get like some spotlight. I mean, I've done it. I'm pretty sure most of us have done it at some point. But you, if you do it there, that's there, but you can't overdo it. Like publicity stunts, like acting like you're like donating, like do doing a bunch of stuff to charity and donating money, then doing some stupid crap and pulling something really, really dumb and offensive or really bad. People, there's been many celebrities and YouTubers that have done that, and it hides a lot of the stuff. I mean, I, I mean, the really, I mean, I get told by many people. I've heard it from many people that be realistic goals and you need this and it's like no if someone really wants to do something you need to go for it the heart is what matters mostly i mean they're always good is going to be the, the strength and the brute strength and there's going to be the heart but in the end of the day the heart's what's going to pull you through stuff and if you're passionate about something you couldn't really get there if you really want like i know i'm giving some like more of a speak and i know i haven't done anything super incredible in my life. I've been in some competitions. I've gotten third place in the science fair with 165 people. I've gotten third place in Dodgers with four teams, and I'm almost a black belt. And so I haven't accomplished the greatest, greatest things, but I still had fun doing it. And I think that's why I'm starting to realize like some stuff I just sometimes do just for trying to be good at it rather than just having fun. And that's why... I sometimes don't do some of the same stuff I used to because I was do I realized I was doing it more for like competitive and trying to beat people and like prove I was number one and stuff. And a lot, some of the times I, I a lot, so I don't know, probably the middle, a good amount of times I probably won, but I wasn't really having fun with stuff. Like while I was playing like just football, like flag football, or like just like anything, or like just like sparring. It's like I didn't. I just kind of wanted. Like, sometimes I realized what fun was in some of them, and sometimes I, I just gave up in some of the stuff. Because I realized I just didn't want to do this. I didn't really like it that much. I was doing it more for just to prove how good it was rather than having fun. Like, there are many people who are very good at things, but they don't like to do it. There's YouTube. A lot is a good example. This is a lot of very good YouTubers. There's a lot of them who are very, very good at certain games, but they hate the game completely. Heck, I know people who are pretty good at a lot of sports, in some of those different things, but they don't like it at all. I mean, they just don't. I've met some people in my life who I've said, you've got to, I mean, I'm not like the all athlete crew. I've seen met some people who are very, very good at soccer or basketball or stuff like that. I said, you've got to join a team, but they just don't really want to. I mean, they've had a lot of skill. I mean, it just takes a lot. I think some. I think a lot of people. A lot of people I've known have dropped out of sports too, is because some people, some high schools. I mean, middle school. They just take it like way too seriously. 
like they just I mean they just train six five hours a day I mean they don't a lot of people aren't having fun at that point they're just doing it to purely beat everyone and that yeah that sometimes can win you competitions but the, I mean, the point is to have fun and stuff I mean yes everyone's always gonna win gonna want to win but yeah, they have to balance the winning and the having fun at the same time that's a very hard thing to learn and I haven't fully learned it that's what I've been struggling with lately a lot I'm still trying to, I mean, I'm still, re I mean, I'm still recovering from my concussion. I'm still trying to learn. I mean, my concussion mess the doctor said, too, I have something thoughts about her just because concussion a year later, it's affecting stuff because I don't really know what I want to do or, like, I mean, it's just some. I just have a lot of mixed thoughts a lot of times. I guess I love playing video games with my friends and stuff, but I can't play video games my for seven eight hours a day all the time and i don't want to waste the summer away doing that and i just am trying to find other things to do Ugh. yeah so that's just what i'm trying to do i'm trying to get back into karate more I'm trying to get there a few times a week i'm trying to start lifting more and get every kind of everything with my nerves and stomach under control i mean it's hard it's a long process to do i mean i didn't from about when I got my concussion to mid-December, I didn't do anything. And then I did stuff for December, January, did a lot. February, March, I didn't do much at all. April, I did a little bit. May, I did a good amount of stuff. And June, I did a good amount of stuff. I really just, I've had, my whole life, I mean, this is a big problem for me. I've had my whole life. I've, I've always been struggling with consistency. Like, I'll be doing something for a long time right here. Take a long stretch break, take a long break here. I just, it's been hard to stay consistent with me with many, many things in my life. And I know it's a big thing for a lot of people, which I hopefully I can get better at. I'm trying to. And yeah, I mean, and that's just, I know this was kind of video me just rant and rant a little. How long was this video anyway? 17 minutes. If you don't watch the whole thing, I totally understand that. I just need to get some stuff on my chest. That's why I've been doing whale videos. I just haven't felt that strong. I just don't want to. I just want to show a picture of me lifting like 30 pounds for my age when I was when I was doing like 180 at one point. And people being like, what the heck happened to you? It's like, that's also the reason I've been doing some of the flexing videos lately. Because I still have like a somewhat good physique. But I don't have to lift any weights. So it's kind of good that way. In those videos, I mean the one has got 890 views in a week. And the other one has like 300 views in like four days. So... I've I mean, I've gained like twenty subscribers in the last week, so I they get me the views, which I don't want to constantly keep spamming those videos just so I can get views and subscribers. I mean, I want to do other things, but I just have felt very lowly motivated lately. I'm just really trying to get stuff under control. It's just been pretty hard lately. I mean, I love still doing YouTube videos for you guys. I wish I could think of more ideas to do. I want to start doing gameplay videos eventually, but the equipment is just so expensive for that stuff. Uh, I want to do some trampoline videos. Eventually, we're going to do trampoline. I want to do more workout videos. I'm just trying to get back into shape. I just, it's some days, it's just very hard to wake up and just, like, get going. <sighs> I mean, I mean, I sometimes just worry about starting school again, too. I mean, it was just so hard the last time, just waking up every single freaking day and just getting there. Like, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really bummed or mad about, or, like, really mad at all about, or upset, like, one particular thing. I've just been, like, so tired and just jet laggy lately. I mean, either I went from working out two and a half, three hours a day and getting some light exercise afterwards of that to, well, actually, no, I was probably, like, physically active for, like, four and a half, five hours of a day. But only like an hour and a half, that was actually intense, tense. But now I can, it's hard to just get one a lot of times. I mean, it's just really, it's just been tough. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I really want to bring better videos for you guys. I mean, the summer only lasts so long. I mean, I, this is the perfect time, perfect weather to do a lot of things. Just trying to think of something that I can do. 
I just haven't had much motivation. I haven't really wanted to hang out with friends. I just, it's been so hard lately. Sometimes it feels like I just didn't change completely, completely or person, like, post-concussion and pre-concussion. Like, I just felt, like, so much better back then. Like, and even after it felt pretty good. It just was, I mean, just now, I just, I feel so good now. I just, like, I feel better in ways now, like, from them. I feel better in ways then from now. Like, I feel like I've learned more now, like, when to say what in certain situations. And I can read people's minds where, like, someone's getting mad or irritated, or I can tell when to stop someone, or, like, I can remind someone to t stop. Like, just, I've learned the more, I feel like I have more social skills, like, to tell things now. But I feel like I was a little more, like, happy and jittery and talkative back then. I was more athletic back then, too. I feel a lot more disciplined now. Like, I'm just willing to listen, just, like, like, I mean, there, it come, there's good from both sides, but it's, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just been hard lately. Which I know means don't feel like super sorry. I have not had like some hard, hard life at all. I mean, there are people that are way, way worse than me. And I'm not echoing up some horrible life. It just, it's just been kind of hard for me lately. I still have great parents, great family and friends. And no one's been ruining it for me. It's just, I have had my own problems. I'm still just trying to figure stuff out. So yeah, I think that's gonna be for today's video. Um, this should probably come out. I don't think I'm gonna start uploading tonight. I think I'm gonna put it out tomorrow afternoon. So how long was this? Jeez, 21 minutes. Okay, I like to say thank you all very much for watching this video. I know it was just gonna be rambling. I know it wasn't the happiest. I'm sorry for that. Well, if you watched till the end or watching a little bit of it, thank you very much. I know it wasn't the greatest, and I promise I'll try to be getting some better videos soon. I think I might take. The next uh, couple days off from YouTube, though, just to kind of relax a little bit more. I mean, I know I've been working hard. I'll probably take, like, Monday, Tuesday off. Not forever. No, I'm not no, I'm not going to do this only where I took, like, six months off. Don't worry about that. Just a couple days off. So, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to the video. The road to 300 subscribers by July 1st. We're all waiting we can do. We have one week to get, uh, I think, like, 42 subscribers. So thank you all very much for watching and see you in the next one.